Hi there, my name is Marky Sparky and this is episode 33 here on the Nevercraft server. This is the final episode of Nevercraft season one for me. And this is this is so crazy. We have done so much stuff. I mean, just look around here. <laughs> oh, if you liked what we have done in this season, if you like what I have done with this island, please leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and make sure to hit the notification bell because after this video there will be a pause of two to three weeks because yeah Nevercraft season two will start in two weeks and yeah you can expect my first episode within two or three weeks time to not miss that make sure to hit the notification bell well and now this this last episode yeah this this will be special guys so sit back relax and enjoy Yeah, guys, to start this episode, I want to go through what we have done here during the last 33 episodes. In episode one, we actually found this island here, right here on the shore. Seven months ago, we stranded here on this shoreline and yeah, explored the island a bit. And it looked very, very, very different back then. I think I'm going to settle down over here and it seems like this is actually either a flower biome flower plains what is it called or it's a flower forest or something like that <laughs> hi there <laughs> yeah i think i like it yep 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 let's stay here for a while <laughs> and yeah we decided to stay here and build our first base which was essentially this hole and it is still there. I made sure to preserve everything about it <laughs> within the new design that the whole island got. And yeah, well, it is all still there. We used a lot of AFK fishing back then and all that stuff is still here in the chests. And yeah, also our um, fishing rod from back then. Also, I made sure to keep the first of the first 11 diamonds that Spectrum gave me and put it here into this item frame. Also the first totem of undying that Spectrum gave me. Yeah, we started here in this hole and the first thing we did was explore, well, not only the island on the surface, but here down in the caves, we built a slime farm, which is down below here, which is now connected to the main base that I'm using. But we started with exploring here we found mine shafts actually and wow it is really framey by now and these mine shafts led to building our base which is basically a transformed mine shaft and i think it is yeah it is back here <laughs> i still know my way around well this is blocked off now but here we entered the mine shaft back then yeah, and this is what the base then looked like. So basically a transformed mineshaft with my own design, with these uh, spruce trapdoors here that kind of lead a path through a mineshaft, a storage system here with this item sorter for the mines down below. And yeah, we had a four spawner spider farm here, only because, well, we have the silk touch spawners here. Uh, on Nevercraft season one and we used this for a lot of mending and uh, we got so many spider eyes from that. <laughs> it is so crazy all the spider uh, heads as well and yeah I used this to this day as a string farm because well we used a lot of carpet upstairs. Next thing we did is well connect the slime farm here with this thing which doesn't seem to work still I don't know uh, well, yeah, we, we connected the slime farm to this basic storage system here and yeah, that also meant extending our mineshaft here into this direction. And well, here we have a little behind the scenes stuff, which I'm still using to sleep. And yeah, then we became the zombie doctor. For that we needed some alchemy, <laughs> potion brewing and stuff. And yeah, we found this old alchemy place here with this very foggy purple 
floor, well, fog, <laughs> basically, here. And yeah, this little place, which I'm still very, very proud of. I love this place. And this is not all that it is. Here we have this book, and if we turn this to page two, a hidden door opens, and we go back here to this room. I love this room. <laughs> which is basically a nether ward farm and we have the purple fog again and this very big mushroom that is growing in here. Yeah, this is what I used to do all my alchemy stuff, all the potion brewing. I'm still doing this in this room to this day. And yeah, we use this actually to cure two zombie villagers that we found in the mines while mining and yeah, the whole zombie stuff is one layer below. So here <laughs> we did our experiments. We had both uh, zombie villages in here. We cured them and why is there only one? There should be two. Oh no, did one of them escape? Oh, that is very sad. We had two of them in there. You are Bill. Bill is still there. I think the other one was called Alfred. Hmm, where is Alfred? Is he in here somewhere? Alfred? I guess not. Well, Alfred might be gone, but Bill is still there. Anyway, <laughs> those two guys helped me to develop the most profitable thing here on the server for me, which was my bookstore. But before we take a look at that, the next thing, the next big thing that we did was uh, form an alliance with Sun, which is also uh, still here actually. We had a secret room here in the first tunnel uh, from uh, the starter base, which is, yeah, you open the door by right clicking this note block here. <laughs> and here we had our little meeting room with this map actually, yes. I almost had forgotten about the map. Let's take that here so we don't forget to show that off, right? Yeah, so we here we had a little meeting and we formed Sparkling Sun Enterprises. Please sit down. Okay. And look at the sand wall. <laughs> okay. So I want to propose to you a business enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm listening. Why why is that not why didn't <laughs> you, you, you didn't see that you didn't see that. What Crouch. is that now? Crouch, okay. This is a ritual that we are going to do. Now throw your piece of rotten flesh onto me. And that's signing the deal. Rotten flesh? For real? Uh, yes, <laughs> because it's Sparkling Sun Enterprises and why not? Oh, I see, I see. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. I like it. And yeah, we, as a part of that, built a wither skeleton farm to make beacons and sell those beacons. Let's head over there real quick. Actually, <laughs> before we go there, we have to go there through the nether and I can show off my little nether portal build here, which I'm really, really proud of. I I love this. This is so simple and plain, but, but just amazing. And the colors are really, really nice and the, the, the purple of the portal really pops within the, the quartz frame that it got here. Yeah, and there, this actually leads to the end which is also something that I designed and built here. The, yeah, the tunnels to the end with the end stone stuff and this very dark room. I, I yeah, love this as well. This leads to the end actually, but let's not go there because there's nothing that I can show that I have contributed. Let's rather head through this tunnel. Yeah, which is my basic nether tunnel design here. Let's head through here to the wither skeleton farm. Well, we are here. So the Wither Skeleton Farm we built is basically a... Where are the bolts? There. A Tango Tech design and I believe it still works in 116.2 where we are in right now. And yeah, it's simply a very, very long tunnel where the nether mobs then spawn. Yeah, there are some skeletons. So it still works. And I've spent a lot of time in this farm collecting the heads, the skulls of these Wither Skeletons to produce with us, kill with us, and yeah, craft all the beacons that I used for my base and that we also sold. Let's head over to our 
uh, to the shopping district and we can have a look at the sparking ah, break <laughs> sparkling sun enterprises um headquarters or well built so the the tower where we actually sold the beacons so the beacon shop is it right yeah <laughs> Oh, and before we go in there, this is also something that I built during during the time here on the server, which are two of these statues, which is basically the Earth and the Moon, hang in here on the ceiling of the Nether Hub. And I, to this day, love these two builds, <laughs> especially the block palette here on the Moon. This is just amazing, I think. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's head into the shopping district. And here we can have a look at the Sparkling Sun Enterprises Beacon Shop, which is this building. And yeah, also a building that I really, really enjoy to this day. And yeah, the, we built this together with Sun and here in there, we are actually there. We had like a rental service for beacons where, we, where you could rent the whole beacon set with the iron base and yeah, on the other side, shops. And actually, while we are here, we can collect the last bits of profits. So somebody bought this beacon, actually, because the ones on the other side are sold out. Nothing in here anymore. Here we sold two more beacons. <laughs> and that is good, because that means that all of the beacons got sold. And yeah. <laughs> and Sun still got 50 diamonds in here. <laughs> That is also quite funny. Yeah, apart from the Sparkling Sun Enterprises Beacon Shop, we built the bookstore right next door, which is this building. And yeah, this came from doing all the trading with the villagers down in the basement of our mineshaft base. And yeah, then we sold all kinds of books in here, which is the most profitable thing that I could have ever done here on the server. And actually, there are probably a lot of diamonds still in here that we can collect for the last time here on the server. So another 48 diamonds here to our valuables chest. <laughs> yeah, that shop, that shop really, really uh, increased uh, the size of my wallet here on the server. And I actually really like the addict here. <laughs> Oh, that is crazy. There are still some books left in here as well. <laughs> anyway, well, yeah, while we are here in the shopping district, actually, let's take a look. Well, here, obviously, this is what we did right now in, I think, the, the previous episode. No, two episodes ago, where we built this little ticket booth here for the rocket, where everybody could apply, all the other players on the server could apply for a seat on the rocket. And yeah, we will meet with them later in the episode and actually fly off the server here to season two. And another thing we did was build a terracotta shop with, okay, uh, together with Smarty, the smart blonde here on the server. And yeah, we later, later named the shop Impruneta, which is an Italian city where a special kind of terracotta is made. And I really love this place as well. This is like a, a small little city <laughs> within the shopping district with all these ki uh, different colored tents where you can then buy the according terracotta. I, I love this place. Okay, next on the list is this giant map, Sparkling Sun Enterprises, our logo that we also put here into our uh, headquarters, our beacon shop. Let's head over there and take a look at this huge project. Okay, so I just entered the area and here yeah, you can see it already. Oh, this was a grind and we did that on the very first live stream that I ever did on Twitch together with Sun uh, on a live stream day here on Nevercraft. And that is the map that yeah, we, we made, which is that thing. <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. That's the first map that I ever created. Yeah, here on the Nevercraft server. <laughs> Well, but next let's take a look at the spawn area. I um, joined Nevercraft when everybody already left the spawn area and... Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, when, when everybody was looking for their own base areas and there was nothing... What is that? Interesting. 
interesting. Never saw that portal. Ah, uh, how to get to spawn faster that way, I believe. Yeah, so uh, the spawn was already completely built. Nothing was to be added there. So I didn't do much over there. But two small things. Uh, yeah, which were basically things for community projects. So let's take a look at that. So entering the spawn area through the spawn portal here and yeah there you can see it already. <laughs> so spec kind of started to do a, a balloon race here and I thought I contribute with something special which is yeah this shark balloon here. Let's land over here on this tower. Yeah, so this is my take on a balloon with me standing down there in the balloon basket. If that is called like that, I have no idea. <laughs> I love this. I love this shark. And people are calling it Maki Sharky, <laughs> which, which I like as well. That is amazing. Yeah, the other thing that I built here at spawn was part of yeah the live stream tower here that's back built. And I actually got hired <laughs> by him to uh, design the interior, so let's take a look. Not the downstairs part that is back still, but up there. And yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? A horse? <laughs> what is that doing on here? The, ooh, uh, don't follow. <laughs> Crazy. So this room in here. <laughs> which took me uh, quite a while to do and I love the ceiling. I really, really love the ceiling in that thing. <laughs> yeah, so the idea was basically that we have a um, space for every single live stream where yeah, people can write stuff into it. Didn't get used much as it seems. Well, but anyway, that room is very nice and it is part of the Nevercraft server now. And a horse <laughs> climbing scaffolding blocks. And yeah, apart from all that, we built this giant crazy base <laughs> and transformed the whole island, the whole green island that we had in the beginning to this volcanic wasteland with all the concrete and purple glass themed um, buildings and a space station as a mob farm and yeah, there's a mob farm in there, if you don't know that. <laughs> that is crazy. Farms in these towers as well. A flower farm here in that tower. With the theme that outside everything is wasteland and dead, essentially. And inside we have all these little farm spots where we have the greenery. <laughs> and I still love these. And yeah, a glass tree. I just flew by that. I love that one as well. Let's land here right, uh, real quick. That thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and yeah, this base looks great at night as well. <laughs> because it's lit up to the brim. Nothing can spawn anywhere. And we have this giant volcano here in the center of the island. And actually we also have an inside of the volcano here on the island. Yeah, which is this? <laughs> we have two striders here. And well, I forgot their names. Raul and something, right? What is your name? Raul, well, great. I remembered yours. What is your name? <laughs> How do I get out here without dying? Ah, very good. <laughs> yeah, and we have a TNT chamber here for, um, yeah. Oh, Basalt also gets in here for con concrete. And for basalt, with a basalt generator here and a concrete maker up there. That is what we used quite a lot. And yeah, the whole purpose <laughs> though of this island in the end was to build a rocket to leave the island <laughs> for season two. Which we will do in a minute. How do we leave though, you ask? Well. A few episodes ago, we were part of the Maelstrom response team, which is basically a group of scientists doing experiments on the Maelstrom, which is something spec unleashed onto our world. Something uncontainable and of yeah, massive proportions that, well, basically 
influence the whole server and the maelstrom is, well, whatever covers the whole area here. Some kind of huge fungus with this maelstrom type thing here in the sky on top of it. And this basically spread across the whole server and yeah, we from the maelstrom response team basically found that yeah, it is spreading and it is dangerous for everything that lives here and it will consume basically everything and everyone. And we even had a conference here in Spec's conference room about that. So two months ago, you ordered us here to start the investigation on what you call the maelstrom. And since then we have been working and studying what you call the maelstrom all over our world here. And it is finally time that we present to you the results that we have. As soon as you have all these spores around, then you get these infestations and we actually found them all over the world in what, you, what we call here the shopping district, the gaming district and actually at some other habitant spaces even. Yeah. And if we take a look at the next slide, we have now averaged like the, the spore density that we measured at each of, of these infestation areas over the last two months since we started all the measurements. And you can see that this is very clearly an exponential growth, which means that it will spread even faster in the future. And this brings me to our final slide, which presents to us the actual maelstrom dilemma. That means that stuff is, is basically um, yeah, turning all our world into like a dead zone, which means mm -hmm. that well, we either stay here, but we will definitely lose this world. And then the other option would obviously be to leave this world behind. And our estimations are, you... are that uh, we will have to make these decisions within the next three months. Yeah, and this was basically three months ago, which means now we really, really have to keep going and leave this world. And Spec has already made all the preparations to do so <laughs> yeah yeah well and that basically means that we have to escape this world and start season two before it is too late for us and that's why we have our rocket and we will fly to season two within a few minutes but before that i haven't seen sun on the server for a while sun our business partner in sparkling sun enterprises he's gone he hasn't played here on the server for a while and I can't leave him here. So what I'm going to do next is look for him and hopefully find him and take him to the rocket so that he may leave with us. So I believe the quickest way to Sans base is here behind the spawn portal through here or is that his old base? No, I think this is the path to his base so let's go there. Okay, I remember this place. Yep, this is definitely San's base. However, San? San? Are you there? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be here. San? Nope, nothing. Well, not here. Let's take a look in his other bases. Oh wow, now that never got finished, right? <laughs> San, are you here somewhere? <laughs> what is this? Oh, his industrial area, yeah, that makes sense. San! San? Mm, nope. Not here either. San, are you here? Anyone? San? 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 Are you here somewhere? San? San? Are you really not here? That is so weird. Oh, this is where his base must be. Hmm. San? San, where are you? Wait a minute, I think I just saw something. San? Oh no! Oh no! San? San? 
It looks like he was surprised by melt water from the glacier that then froze again, maybe maybe during nighttime. And well, our poor son is frozen in the ice. Oh no guys, what to do with that? I think I want to get him out of there and carry him over to the rocket. Okay guys, I managed to remove all the ice around him and yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I feel that it is not the best idea to remove the ice directly on his body. I, I'm not sure whether he survives that. So I just think I will carry him like this in ice to the rocket and bring him to season 2 with me. I think this is the responsible thing to do here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. I want to make this short. I just want to say that this was an awesome first season of Nevercraft on Java. And this also was the very first SMP season for me as well. And it was a great one. Even though I joined the server quite late, I felt super welcomed here by everyone. And I immediately felt home on here. And I just can say it, it could have lasted forever <laughs> if it wasn't for you, Spec. You unleashed a untamable beast of a maelstrom upon us all and infested the whole place. And that is why yeah. we are all here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The maelstrom has uh, gotten pretty strong as of late. And uh, I suggest that we get out of here pretty quickly because it'll be here any minute. Okay, so I will shorten this even more. Well, I can only say I wouldn't be a real German if I couldn't use my German engineering skills to build us all a rocket to escape this infested place once and for all. So, to make this short, I want to thank you all for your trust and for being here and for flying with me to season two. But a little more time, it, it just has to be. Spec, you are the co-founder of Nevercraft. I would like you to say a few words as well. So I'll come up here so I can, you know, stand as, just as tall as you because uh, I'm short. So, you know, I've got to be up here <laughs> tall things. Um, well, uh, I really hope you all had fun playing here on Nevercraft Season 1. And I hope you guys have more fun to come here on Nevercraft Season 2. And we'll have a lot more people in Season 2 than we did Season 1. I think we had about 12 to 17, you know, that would rotate in and out. We're going to be starting with approximately 26 people for season two and out of those 26 i think 24 of them are all just our youtubers so it's going to be a great season it's going to be and awesome remarks complete <laughs> <laughs> thank you spec okay to continue i would like you all to grab yourself a spacesuit from this white shulker box over here oh spacesuit uh you got a spot where I can go change? Um, well, you can go in here if you'd like. There, there's plenty space to hide. <laughs> I'm, I'm shy. Mm. I'm shy. <laughs> Let, let's meet in two minutes out here. And yeah, we can all change our into our spacesuit. Yeah, three, two. Oh, no, you moved. Three. Sorry. Uh, take a step to your right. Right there. Perfect. Which way do I need to look? Like... Uh, you're where, right where you're looking is fine. Okay. Three, two, one, and, and picture's taken.
So, everybody ready for takeoff? Ready! Yeah. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch! 